What is up, YouTube? This is a pick a pile for love. Um, this is for the new moon in Aries, but you can watch it anytime, whatever. Um, I also have the new moon workshop below and the work pick a pile below. I ask you to pick a stone and then we are going to read it out. So number one, I have Aragonite. The timestamps will be below. Okay, this is Aragonite, Aragonite, boom. Pile number two, we have clear quartz. All right, cute little, cute little cluster here. Third one, I have Amethyst, all right. Sorry, that was my dog laying on my beanbag. Um, okay, bitch, let's jump into it. So, pile number one. I'm going to do the Oracle card last. Whew. It is so funny. I was just going to say the number seven, and your first card is seven of cups, LOL. Um, I feel like some of us are just confused about like what is happening, what is going on, what can I expect next? Maybe some of us are feeling overwhelmed with a decision that we have to make. We're feeling like, oh my God, there's just so many options. Um, yeah, and I feel like you don't want to take action. I have the um, Page of Wands reversed. I'm also feeling like with the Four of Cups here, there really is an energy of like, I'm just bored. Like, I'm bored here. I don't know what I want to do. I don't know how I want to behave. I don't know who I want to be with. Maybe for some of you, could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries or a Leo. Letters L, um, M, and C are coming up. But like, there's an energy here of like hesitation. Like, oh, I'm just going to put it off. I'm going to put it off. I'm going to put it off because I don't know what I want to do. And I think it's important to figure out what you don't want, what you don't appreciate. Because with the Four of Cups, it's that energy of feeling bored. It's that energy of like, I've already seen this. I don't want that. I feel like some of you are like, no more fuck boys. It's like, I don't want to socialize with these kind of guys. I want to level it up. I want a boss to match my boss ass flavor. You know what I mean? So like this Four of Cups is like, <sighs> Just disappointed also, maybe disappointed because other people are not taking more action because other people are losing their spark and then you're feeling like, bitch, I know it's not me, but you're making me feel like it's me, but like, eh. I'm also feeling there's something about the hair. Maybe some of you want to change your hair. I don't know what that's about. Now, um, or maybe you don't like their hair. This is like a general overall. So like some people that's going to hit, but like whatever. This Seven of Cups, though, I want to pull one more. Let me see what we got. Let me see what we got. Or give me two more. Oh, that one's coming out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. We've got the Devil Reverse, and we've got the Queen of Wands Upright. Some of you for sure are now noticing, like, I am, like, out of your league. You know what I mean? And, like, not saying that with, like, pride. Like, bitch, look at me. I'm better than you. Like, no, but it... it like you need to accept that sometimes you are just not in the same place. You're not in the same vibration as another person. So like when that happens, what do you do? You just say, okay, I, first of all, this is looking like, I can't believe that you, like maybe some of them, maybe the like fuck boys here or like the people who you're like, why is it that you're not interested in me, but I feel like I'm way up here and you're kind of down here. Like you're still, figuring out your life, but I kind of know what I'm doing or I feel more secure and more confident with my behavior, my actions. I know what I want. Maybe you know you want a relationship, but they don't know what they want to do, etc. And it's just this energy. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Um, again, I have fire here. And there's an Aries, um, a new moon in Aries today on the 11th and 12th. You can watch this whenever, but um, Go take the workshop. I will help you invite in a better relationship. I promise. I promise it works. But like, there's this overall excitement. Maybe you had a lot of excitement with this person or it started off really fast and then it just kind of fizzed out. But you're like, it wasn't me. I was still interested. Why did you have less interest? Well, really, it's because this person is actually toxic for you. This cycle is toxic for you. The universe is trying to teach you more. I feel like self-respect I'm hearing. Um, also self, 
It's like what you think this person can give you, you can give yourself. And I don't know why you're still maybe longing after them or you're kind of gazing out at them. Like the queen's here looking out just being like, just come. What's the issue? Look at me, just come. But like, they're not coming because they can't hold your vibration. They can't match you. They can pretend, they can try to trick you. They can, you know, wear a mask, but eventually you're gonna notice that this just doesn't work. So it's like, I'm feeling like, let it go. Um, or whatever their offer is, you're just not happy because you deserve more than they can give you. And like, that's okay. We're all on different journeys. I feel like some of you are maybe gonna connect with this person again later. Um, but this devil, devil reverse card is saying like, it's time to release that. Um, maybe some of you are also like digmatized because you're like, oh, it was so good for a minute. Come on. And it's like, well, you'll find that again. I promise. Okay. Your card is, oh, okay. Your card is be bold and make the first move. But I don't think it's move towards them. I think it's like make the first move in a new direction, truly. Some of you also maybe have already connected with other people or you're kind of chatting with other people, but you're like, oh, I'm unsure. There's like a lance coming through. I don't know what that's about for someone here. Um, and also Mercury. Mercury is, so there's Virgo and Gemini energy here. Um, I think it's time to make the first move in a new direction, to be honest, okay? Um, I love you. If you liked this, um, I mean, you can donate below. Thank you for that. Also, I have a work pick a pile. It'll be linked here um, below. And take the new moon workshop because I will help you find the right people in your life. I promise. Okay? I love you. I will see you somewhere on the gram probably. Hokey dokey. Whew. Pile number two. Pile number two. This is your reading, your reading. Okay, so this just fell. Like, and this is what I use for self-love. That is a self-love bundle. Um, so that's obviously coming to my attention. I think there's something here about self-love. Let me see what the cards look like. Yeah, six of swords. I feel like it's time to let go of the past. I feel like there was old relationships or people, partners, whatever, who are maybe abusive, I'm feeling. Ooh, I'm sorry. It's like sticky. Um, even if it was just emotionally abusive or I'm not gonna get into the other ones, but like, you know what I mean? Um, there could have been someone taking advantage of you or also gas lighting you for a while, making you feel like you, oh, you were wrong, you were wrong, you were wrong, but you weren't wrong, you knew, you had to trust yourself. And I think because you didn't trust yourself 100%, you were trusting what this person was saying. You're like, for sure, for sure, for sure. But really they were lying. Now there's like, why did I second guess myself? Um, again, so maybe it's really connecting back with the self love because that will invite in more people, better partners. If you're in a relationship, um, ooh, six of swords, maybe it's time to go. Um, maybe you're just thinking about letting go of like a past, like a relationship before this, when you experience some heavy things and they're still influencing you now and you're just like, ugh, I need to drop it. I need to let this go so I can have a healthy relationship. And you will find a healthy relationship, but like this is crying, heartbreak, you know, mourning, um, release, emotional processing, and it's asking for support. So maybe you're finding or meeting other people who can support you on that journey also. You know what I mean? I've got the Ten of Swords here as well. So we're certainly done with something. We are definitely done with something or someone. It could be an old way of thinking, of course. It can be an old person from our past. Some of you, weird, there's a letter Z coming through. Um, but like some of you are still connected with the ex, still socializing with the ex. If you haven't 100% like moved on and now you're just reconnecting as friends in a light, fun way, fine. But like if you're still here and he's still in love with you or she's still in love with you or they or whatever, there's just like this like weird energy floating in the background. Oh, are we going to get together again? Who knows? Who knows? It's like, I just think now it's time to like, just drop it, let it go. Because like 10 of swords is saying it's done. You already learned from this person. You already learned what you needed to learn about this cycle, about this lesson, whatever. So like 
just, it's dead. Let it rest. You know what I mean? Bitch, two of cups. And technically, when I flip this, I'm sorry, it's reversed, but it's here. So two of cups this way, you have new relationships. You have new partnerships that will come 100%, but you need to invite them in. Below is the link to my workshop, New Moon in Aries. It's pay what you can. It's under 30 minutes. It's a home video. Take it anytime. I will help you invite in new love. I promise you, I promise you, you will shift. And two, sorry, two of cups reversed, like, it really is time to let go. This is like, it's done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And I know it's always annoying. It's like, I don't want to let go. But think about this. We're now in Aries season, which is the first sign. It means it's the first house in that zodiacal wheel. So that is the start, the fresh start, new cycle. Um, what does that mean? It means we have a new opportunity for new things, new people, new love, and we need to let go. So we have available space to accept the new people, the new things, the new love, etc. So like that is really important, okay? Two of cups reverse, like it's, it's time. Um, the last thing I have is communication is key. Communication is key, which means what? You need to communicate what you're feeling. You need to talk about it with other people. Also, maybe get some more perspectives, but not from the same person who always tells you the same thing. No, ask more people or just share what you need to. Just pull it up and say, look, this is how I'm feeling. Some of you, if you're, um, it's strange because some people, and this is not all of you, so don't be like, oh, like everything feels like I should leave, but he said I should stay. That's not what I'm saying. I don't think you should stay. I don't think that, okay? Some of you are still carrying old traumas and old ideas and programs from previous relationships and that is what you are still clearing out. That is what is negatively impacting your current relationship and that is what needs to be communicated. For the other people, and there's a letter L, um, C, I think that came up before too. Maybe pile number one, anyways, the point is, you need to communicate. You need to communicate. You need to get it up and out. Even just write it. Maybe you don't want to, um, you know, actually talk to that person. Write a letter, paint, do something, and then you can just light it on fire and get rid of it. It's fine, but you need to get it up and out. Okay? Pile number two, I love you. Take the workshop. I will help you. I promise. Oh my gosh. Just listen to me. Like, stop being lazy. Okay. Pile number three. Feeling good. <laughs> what do we got here? Pile number three. Three of coins. Three of coins. Some of you maybe are meeting meeting new people through work. Um, I wanna see what else is here because I don't always love. Yeah. Okay, some of you I think are meeting new people um, through community, through work. It could be like a friend of a friend and then you connect with them and you're like, wow, I really like you. I feel like there's a little bit of like investigation. Maybe some of you have been like, I've already been like looking for you. I know who you are. Or um, you know that this person is like a boss. Like there's something about their energy that is really like bossy, sort of like impressive. It's like big dick energy. You know what I mean? Like, whoo, swing her around. So like, this is... Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy, it's Earth. This can be something that is very slow moving. I'm also feeling with the Page of Swords here, reverse. It's like, we wanna say something. We wanna say something, but we don't know what to say. Or we're hearing things from other people and we don't know what to trust. Now, I wanna pull a few more cards for you, actually. More, a few, one second. Two more cards, please. Two more cards for pile number three here, please. Okay, that one takes both. It's the bottom of the deck. Oh yeah, tower. I feel like there's this like limitation that we've been thinking for a long time and now we're like, I'm blowing through it. I, I feel like it's getting out of your comfort zone. It's like you wanna try something new. You wanna say something new. You wanna meet new people or you've already met some new people and it could just be online, of course. It doesn't need to be actually out socializing because like fucking pandemic. But like, yeah, this person is a boss. Someone here is a boss. Someone involved is a boss. This is also 
Aries energy, which is like me, me, me. I'm focused on myself. I think some of you are also just like planning to continue to level up. I feel like you've been doing the work, been committing to new routines, cycles, practice, etc. And like now we're in the new year. This is Aries energy. We have an Aries new moon today on the 11th or the 12th, depending on when you watch this. Um, that is a new cycle. Aries season is the first, sorry, Aries is the first sign in the zodiacal wheel. So it means that this is the first season of all 12 seasons. So now is a new chapter, a fresh start. So like take the opportunity to plant new seeds, okay? Um, below is a link to my workshop. It's pay what you can. Don't be lazy. Do something. Take action for yourself. Like I will help you. Okay, yes, we've got the death card here too. This is a major rebirth. This is a new birth. Some of you, like this big dick energy is for some of you women, trans, they, them, whatever. Like, I don't care who you are. We're all welcome here. But that big energy is just like, I'm ready to make some heavy decisions about myself to um, shine. I want other people to see me. And I think that when you start to like put yourself out there, other people are going to be really drawn to you. You are maybe also really drawn to another person who you're like, that person, like I, I said earlier, is just a boss ass bitch. And I want to vibe with them. Now, I feel like you don't know how to approach them. <laughs> I feel like we don't know how to chat with them, or I don't know what I will talk about with them. I'm just like, ugh, I wanna say this, this, and this, but some of you are like doing your research. Um, what card do we get here? Prosperity lies ahead. Abundance is coming. Prosperity lies ahead is what the card says. This is Taurus, this is Taurus. Like, you have a new opportunity for stability and structure, and I think if you're, really focusing on one person or maybe you're still trying to manifest that person and they're coming but it's holding the vibration of stability foundations structures and now noticing that i don't want to continue doing what i've been doing up until now i don't want to be involved in the gossip in the fuck boys i don't want to be involved in the bullshit in the drama it's like i don't care about when he's then and when he's then and when she's then. it's like i'm just over it there's like this maturity now that is being integrated and we're leveling up and taking things more seriously so I really applaud that. Some of you dealing with Scorpio energy as well. We've got that here twice, twice. Um, but like, kudos to you. Keep going because as you continue to boss up, you will attract other boss ass bitches and you will match them. And together you will find these new people. I think some of you for sure though, meeting people through work, three of coins, through community, collaborations, etc. But overall, this is a fucking vibe. I love you. If this uh, resonated, then like you can donate below. Thank you for that. Please take a workshop. And if you're interested in seeing the pick a pile for work, uh, it'll be linked, linked below also. Okay. I love you. That's it. I will see you soon. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.